hi guys welcome to maneuver in this session we we'll look at the arithmetic session of the quant and the uh, topic will be the profit and loss so if you are preparing for the cat exam so you should be thorough with the arithmetic section so in this session we look at the sum of the question of the profit and loss all right so moving forward let's understand the first of all fundamental of the profit and loss so the certain terms which you should know while you are solving the question based on the profit and loss such as the cost price which is known as the cp then sp is the selling price then profit or the loss percent and then comes your mark price also known as the least price and then discount okay so these are the certain terms which you should know so for example you have bought a product for rupees let's say 100 and this is your cost price and you have marked it up by 20 rupees so 120 will be your mark price and now you are giving a discount as a 10 rupees okay so after giving the discount the value which will come that will be the selling price so which is 110 so you bought the product for rupees 100 and you sold the product for 110 so what is the profit value and the profit percent so profit value and profit percent so profit value is nothing but 10 but profit percent is nothing but 10 by and cost price is 100 into 100 so this get cancelled your profit percent is 10 percent so profit or the loss percent we always calculate on cost price and discount we always calculate on the mark price or the lease price okay so I hope this much idea is clear to you now let's hit the question okay so the first question is a person wants to reduce the trade tax so he calculates his profit on the sale price instead of on the cost price in this way by selling an article for rupees 280 he calculates his profit as 14 and 2 by 7 which is nothing but 100 by 7 percent what is his actual profit percent so he's calculating his profit on this sell price now in this question you have to understand question is asking about the what is the actual profit percent okay which means this 280 rupees value have no any important role in this question what they are saying the guy is making a profit of nothing but 1 by 7 this 100 by 7 if I write in the fraction it is 1 by 7 so profit is making as 1 rupees and 7 will be your selling price because he is saying he is making a profit on the sell price so he is selling the product for rupees 7 and he is making the profit of 1 rupees so this is your SP and this is your profit okay which means his cost price has to be 6 because he is making a profit of 1 and he is selling a product for rupees 7 so he is making a profit of 1 rupees so so his actual profit percent is nothing but what 1 by 6 and in fraction 1 by 6 is what 16.66 percent so answer is C Calcutta I hope this idea is clear so to understand such question you should be good in the fraction and your logic has to be very good with respect to the question type again I repeat 7 is here selling price and 1 is the profit so I got to know that my cost price is 6 and I'm making a profit of 1 rupees so profit percent as I told you we always calculate on the cost price so 1 by 6 the profit percent which is nothing but 16.66 fine second question Rahul sold his car to Mohan at a profit of 20 percent and Mohan sold it to Suresh at a profit of 10 percent Suresh sold it to Azad a loss of 9.09 percent Ajaz spent 10% of his purchasing price and then sold at a profit of 8.33% to Rahul once again what is the loss of Rahul okay so here we have to understand cost price and selling price and first gentleman is Rahul then we have Mohan then we have Suresh then Azad okay so let's assume that the Rahul So let's assume that the Rahul purchased the product for rupees 100 and he sold it to Mohan for and make the profit of 20%. So selling price for Rahul will be 120 but cost price for Mohan will be 120. And then Mohan sold it to Suresh and made the profit of 10%. So 10% of 120 will be 12 and if I add it 132 will be the selling price for Mohan but 132 will be the cost price for Suresh okay and Suresh sold it to Azad and made a lo loss of 9.09 percent 9.09 nothing but in fraction 1 by 11 okay so 132 into 
so he made a loss of 9.09 percent which is nothing but 10 by 11 this get cancelled which will be 12 so if I multiply it so 120 will be the selling price for Suresh and 120 will be the cost price for Azad now further it is saying Azad spent 10 percent of his purchasing price and sold at profit of 8.33 to Rahul once again so 10% of 120 will be 12 is 132 okay so this is what the total cost price for Azad and he made a profit of 8.33 it will be 132 into 13 by 12 okay so if you know the fraction 8.33 nothing but 1 by 12 percent so he is making profit so it will be 13 by 12 so in my classroom program this is how I teach with the help of the fraction and the logic okay so this is nothing but 12 vanja and vanja if you okay so here 3 will remain here 3 plus 1 is 4 and this is 1 so 143 is the product how you should multiply any number by 11 so fine so 143 will be what the selling price for the Azad but this 143 will be the cost price cost price for Rahul okay cost price for Rahul so now the question is Rahul what is the loss of the Rahul so Rahul total value is 120 because he sold the product for 120 rupees so he made a loss of how much 143 minus 120 will be what 23 okay so 23 upon 100 into 100 will give me what 23 percent so 23 percent is the right answer which is the loss for Rahul I hope this is clear to you so again guys you should be good in the fraction part if you want to crack the cat with the good percentile third question Sudhir bought our house in yes yes one city wholesale price was 8 lakhs he availed 20% discount okay as an early bird offer and then 10% discount due to cash payment after that he spent 10% of the cost price in the interior decoration and lawn of the house at what price should he sell the house to earn a profit of 25% okay so rather than assuming the 8 lakhs let's take it 100 so he got a discount of 20% so minus 20% will be what 80 as an early bird offer and then 10% discount to do cash payment so further 10% on 80 will be 72 after that he spent 10% of his cost price so this is what the actual cost price 72 but he spent 10% extra of the cost price so 10% of 72 will so 10% of 72 will be 7.2 so just add it 79.2 so at what price should he sell the house to earn a profit of 25% so he, if he want to earn the profit of 25% so 5 by 4 so guys you should know how, why I am writing the 5 by 4 because in fraction 25% is 1 fourth but he is making a profit of 25% so I will be writing the 5 by 4 ok so 5 by 4 into 79.2 so this is what you have to calculate so this is so this is 4 1 ja and uh, then left with 3 4 9 ja and then 4 8 ja 32 just multiply 5 8 ja is 40 left with 4 5 9 ja 45 plus 4 is 49 left with 4 5 1 ja 5 plus 4 is 9 so 99 is the price he should sell to earn a profit of 25 percent this is what the 100 we have assumed and that's why we got 99 but according to the question 100 is equal to 8 lakhs okay so 99 is equal to how much so this calculation will give you the actual answer so 8 lakhs into 99 upon 100 this two zero get cancelled 30 8 9 j is 72 left with 7 8 9 j is 72 plus 7 79 so 7.92 lakhs C Calcutta is the correct answer here I hope this is clear so this is what the question type guys you will be getting in your CAT exam as well so this video will give you the overview how you should handle the such type of the questions okay fine if you want to join us for the classroom or the online program you can call on 8828581455 or 8828581454 and check out the batches for the CAT preparation or else you can visit www.manuvideo.com website and don't forget to share and subscribe the channel guys please click on the circle and subscribe the channel so that whatever videos will be coming up based on the CAT exams you will be not missing that all the best and thank you